Hey guys, this is CB Sports here. The Nick Saban-led Alabama Crimson Tide have been a dominant force over the last decade. They have produced quality NFL players at a staggering rate, and in addition to that, they have won five national titles in that span of time. Alabama might have the best dynasty in college football history, but it certainly isn't the first. Urban Meyer in Florida came before, and USC came before them, and before the Trojans became a force, there were the Nebraska Cornhuskers of the late 1990s. Coached by the great Tom Osborne, who later served in the House of Representatives, Nebraska took home three national titles from 1994 to 1997. The 95-96 team is frequently given the title of the best team in college football history, and I would completely agree. As a matter of fact, this shouldn't even be up for debate. Here's why. They averaged 53.2 points per game and only gave up 14.5 points on average. If you do the math, they outscored their opponents by a whopping 38.7 points per game. That's absolutely insane, and before you chalk this up to an easy schedule, let me point this out. They beat Kansas State, who would finish the season ranked 7th by 24, Colorado, who finished 5th by 23, the 9th ranked Kansas Jayhawks by 38, and they also beat number 2 Florida by 38 in the national title game. In those four matchups, they never scored less than 30, 40 points either. In fact, their closest game all season was a 35-21 win over Washington State. That's a 14-point victory. They succeeded in topping 60 points a total of four times and also scored more than 70 twice. It doesn't stop there. They averaged 556.3 yards per game and 400 of them were on the ground. That stat doesn't even include the national championship Fiesta Bowl game against Florida where they totaled 629 yards of offense. They rushed for an astronomical 524 yards as well. In case you forgot what I said a few seconds ago, this was in the national championship game. Not to forget defense though, the Cornhuskers allowed the Gators to rush for negative 28 yards and forced four turnovers in that game. The final score was 62-24. to The numbers are self-explanatory. This team was incredible and I'll end with this. Even Nick Saban fell victim to these guys when his Michigan State Spartans lost 50 to 10 to Nebraska at home. Thanks for watching.